All right, I'm staying on taxes. Listen to this. Steve Bannon, principal strategist for the Trump White House, is pushing, we understand, a 44% tax rate on incomes above $5 million a year. I'm going to bring in Doug Schoen for this one. He's the co-author of the book, America in the Age of Trump. I take it that you, as a Democrat, thoroughly approve of raising taxes on very wealthy people. Nothing could be further from the truth. I am a mainstream common sense Democrat. <laughs> and if you raise taxes that high, you stem incentive, initiative, and you basically drive wealth underground. That is not mainstream Democrat thinking, and you know it. It is mainstream from where I come from. John F. Kennedy cut taxes, 86. We had a bipartisan reduction of rates to 28 percent. And as Casey Stengel once said, you can look, look that you up. You can look it up, but that was a long time ago. Okay. That's true. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm saying that this, this approach, raise taxes on the rich, is a political sop because it buys a middle class tax cut and appeals to Trump's base, which they don't care about billionaires. Why should they care? You know, it's a political sop. So if this was proposed, don't you think that other Democrats would say, yeah, right on, Bannon? Do I think they would, Democrats, for their own reasons, are in resistance. They'd oppose everything. But I think Republicans would be, quite rightly, ap apoplectic because, candidly, what working class people want is to be rich, and they would hear taxes on the rich. That's going to be me someday when I make my fortune. President Trump is just not your average, typical Republican president, is he? No, he isn't. Totally. And Steve Bannon is not your typical right. Republican advisor. That's right. I mean, they're different people here the, with different ideas. I'm for low taxes. I'm for um, across-the-board reductions to get the stimulative effect of tax cuts, like Arthur Laffer says, Steve Moore says, it works, it's reasonable. We did it with Bill Clinton uh, when we cut the capital gains rate down to about, I think, 15% in 1997, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that was the capital gains tax rate. That's right, and it worked. T tell me, uh, forgive me for interrupting here, but please, I'm I, sorry. I, I've got to get this in. Tell me about Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Her technology guy has been arrested, charged with bank fraud. He was trying to leave the country. He's one of three Pakistani brothers who had access to Debbie Wasserman Schultz's computer and several other House Democrats. Is there something going on under the surface here that I don't know about? I think there's something going on, Stuart, below the surface that we all don't know something about. The guy had sent $300,000 from the Federal Credit Union to Pakistan. His family is back in Pakistan. We need to get to the bottom. This is not partisanship. We need to get to the bottom of what has happened with Russia. But we also need to find out what the heck the Democrats were doing, why this guy was fleeing the country, and what the substance is of what was going on. And why did Debbie Wasserman Schultz take so long to get rid of the man? She only fired him, I think it was the day before yesterday. That's something we should ask. Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Maybe she'll come on the show and but answer. Look, 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 the implication is, I mean, this is serious stuff. I know it is. I agree. The implication is that these three brothers had access to Democrats' computers. Correct. And therefore, through that, I know that he had access to Debbie Wasserman Schultz's password for her iPad. That gives him access to all kinds of stuff. Well, that's right. And look. Was he a spy? That's what I'm worried about. If he's going back to Pakistan, where the ISI maintains a very active spy network and ties to terrorists, let's be candid, this raises very, very troubling questions. And as you point out, Stuart, this isn't politics. It's not partisanship. It is American security. Okay.